John Davis, J O H N D A V I S. And where do you work? City of Atlanta Police Department. And how long have you been with the City of Atlanta Police Department? 26 years. And what do you do currently for the City of Atlanta, City I, of Atlanta Police Department? I manage the body cam unit. And what do you do as a manager of the body cam unit? What I do is to ensure that officers that are out on the streets have uh, body cameras that are operating properly. If any issues, I address those issues by troubleshooting, replacing, and sending them back to the Exxon unit. Okay. And if you could just tell the jurors, um, are all officers with the Atlanta Police Department fitted with body cam? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And since when have all officers been fitted with body cam? This is dated back, I'm estimating 2015 or so. 2015 or so. And um, how are the body cams kept within the regular ordinary course of Atlanta Police, Department, Police Department's business? Well, uh, body cams, like I said, are issued to each officer to do their daily duties. Uh, at the end of each duty or personal work assignment, body cameras will be docked on the Exxon docks where any events that particular day will be uploaded into our evidence.com accounts. And you said the Exxon dock. What is the Exxon dock? Exxon docks is pretty much the same company that designed the body camera unit. And that dock is a way to charge as well as upload any evidence that's or any incidents that's recorded. And as far as with APD, do you have dash cam videos? Yes, we do. And how do dash cam videos work? Dash cams work similarly, but it's more of a wireless base. So once you make it back to your assignment, your precinct, the signal is sent and it uploads videos that way. And again, are the dash cams also kept in the regular and ordinary course of business at Atlanta Police Department? That is correct. Everything's in evidence.com in the cloud. Have you had the opportunity today to review a body cam video and a dash cam video from a shooting incident on February 7, 2022 involving Officer Rogers? Yes, I have. And did that appear to be, from what you viewed, a fair and accurate depiction of images contained on both his body camera video and his dash cam video? That's correct. Um, Your Honor, and did it appear to be any additions or deletions? No, ma'am. Your Honor, this time the state would like to tender state's exhibit to S. Oh, excuse me. Permission to approach. You, you may. I'm showing you what's going to mark the state's exhibit 1SS and 2S. We're going to begin at 1804. Stop the plan, 1908. And next round, we're going to publish State's Exhibit 1SS.
sorry, we'll start the playing at 1742 seconds. And did that conclude your involvement in this case, Sergeant Davis? Yes. Thank you. No further questions. Any defense questions for this witness? Yes, no. All right. Thank you. Is it Sergeant? Yes, it is. Davis, true? Yes. Correct. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Keith Adams, um, and I represent Jeffrey Williams, the gentleman sitting right there in the black. Yes, sir. Um, I want to ask you a couple questions about what we just saw, what um, we just saw on the, on the screen, these two videos. One was a dash cam, one was a body cam, true? That's correct. Okay. Now, is it fair to say that you weren't involved in the case, but um, your role as manager of the dash cam department, body camera department, uh, is what brings you in here? Correct. Okay. Um, but you did have an opportunity to, to look at these videos and observe them, true? I did. And, and so you're able to testify that they are what they purport to be. They show images that uh, are accurate, as best you can tell? Correct. Okay. And so what we're seeing is actually what happened out there that day. Yes. And, and what we're hearing is, is what happened and what was said and, and all the sounds and everything that happened at, at that time, true? That's correct. All right. Now, on the first one that we saw, um, which was, I believe, the body camera, um, that is, it, it starts with us, we see from inside of the vehicle, is that right? Correct. Is it, is it clear to you from looking at that, from the, the, um, the handcuffs that are hanging from in the front, that this is a, this is a police car that this gentleman is in, the, the, the officer. Um, so it is a marked police car, and am I correct that we see it pull up and then come to a stop? Yes. And, and, and you saw in the video did you not, and heard when the officer gets out of the car, right? You saw that? Yes, yes, I saw right. that. Yes. You'd agree with me that he encounters this one person, Mr. the person who we'd come to know as Mr. Eppinger, right? Yes. All right. And Mr. Eppinger, th this, this guy's by himself. Yes. All right. So you have an officer in the video that you can see getting out of a car, and he's confronting this one person. There's not a group of people with him. This is just this guy, Eppinger, by himself, walking. Right? That's what the footage shows, yes. And, and would you agree with me that the footage shows the officer telling him to get on the ground, um, trying to apprehend him, right? That's what it shows, yes. Now, the, the video, that body camera from that first one, it, it doesn't show, there's, there's a point where it kind of goes on the ground and you can't really see much more, but you can still hear what's going on, right? Correct. And you hear the shots. Correct. Okay, now, so, so th this guy, Eppinger, that we see first, uh, in the first video, we see him again in the, the dash cam, the second video that was shown. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And would you agree with me that um, the dash cam from that second video is not from Officer Rogers' car, it's from the other car? Is that true? No, that's from Officer Rogers' car that he exited out of. That's Officer Rogers' car? Yes. Sir. Okay. So you see, Officer, you see the dash cam pointing out, and there's a point where you see both Officer Rogers and this guy, um, Eppinger, um, both in the frame of the video. You agree? I think you're kind of mistaken. What, what you see initially, mm -hmm. the position of the body cam of him exiting the car, the door opening. Once he closes, you see the body camera as he has interaction with the gentleman. Okay. The second video that was shown uh -huh. was the actual car, that's, the camera that's mounted inside of the vehicle, the dash cam itself. Right, and, and that's what I was talking about, the second video. And, and you agree, in the second video, at, at some point, they come into the frame of the video and you Correct. see both individuals, right? Sir. You agree with me that, that the officer doing his job is trying to interact with, with Eppinger, this guy Eppinger, right? Yes, sir. And, and then you hear a series of shots. And at the time that you hear the shots, you actually see Eppinger shooting at the officer. Would you agree with that? Yes, sir. All right. Um, you would agree with me that there doesn't appear to be anyone else around. Not that I saw, no. Right. There, there's no one advising or encouraging this, this guy, kid, whatever he is, Eppinger, to, to do what he's doing. He, he appears to be acting on his own. Is that right? That's what it appears, yes. And then you hear a second set of shots, and am I correct that that is after this guy, Eppinger, runs off, you hear some other shots, which will be another officer shooting at him, right? No one was shooting. I don't know who was shooting, but you do hear more, more gunfire. Okay. And at, at that time, 
when, when Eppinger runs off and runs around the corner, um, there's no one else with him. With Eppinger, you mean? That's no, right. I didn't see anyone. No. Okay. There, there's no one who appears to be, be, be uh, running with him or anything like that, right? Not, not from the footage, no. Okay. You, you don't know this kid, Eppinger, do you? And I say kid, out of this guy, Eppinger. No, I don't know the young man, no, no sir. Okay. Um, all right. Would you agree with me, and, and I, this is what I heard, and I want you to, to tell me if I'm, if I'm correct, if this is what you heard as well. In the very first video, um, when Officer Rogers gets out of the car and he's telling Eppinger to get out on the ground, did you hear um, Eppinger saying, I didn't do nothing, I didn't do nothing? Yes, I heard something that, to All right. what you said. Right. And, and again, Rogers pulls up in a, in a marked police car, as far as you know, right? Correct. Okay. And, and so, you know, th this verbiage, I didn't do nothing, I didn't do nothing, it, it appears that he is, I mean, you don't say I don't do nothing to someone who's not a cop. Oh, right? speculation. I, I would draw it. Okay. I would draw it. All right. I don't need you to, to play it again, but if I'm, if I'm correct, he had on, looks like he had on some white pants and a silver bubble jacket kind of thing. That's what it appears. Okay. That video. All right. Sergeant Davis, I think that's all I have. All right. Any other defense attorney's questions for this witness? No. Any redirect? No redirect, Your Honor. All right. Thank you for your time. You're excused. Call your next witness.